One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. 2020, here we are. What are we, two weeks from election? Two, three weeks? Two weeks? One, two, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks from election. Hope you do. Hope you folks are doing your doing your civic duty of voting. You've got a major market event coming with the election. It's just, I, I think that opening new positions and holding through election, you're just asking. You're just asking and you get fucked. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm just going to be that blatant about it. I think that, you know, you just, I think, I think it's just, it's so dangerous to do it. It's so dangerous. I, I, no, I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested in any of that. I have no interest in it. And there'll be better opportunity after everything settles down. PRPL. Purple, this is the mattress company, right? Well, if you ask a woman, Tay, shitty stocks are always going to be a man. It's, it's, it's just, it, it, it's, you know, it, it's, you know, all men are assholes. And then for men, it's all women. All women are terrible. You know, <laughs> it's. <laughs> I've never had a good man. And then, you know, and then men are like, I've never had a good woman. You know, that's just how it is. You know, we always say she, like all of our trucks are she's. Um, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. That's how it is, you know. It's no, you know, that's just, it's just, we're hardwired that way. And so, yeah. Purple, um, I mean, beautiful, beautiful trend. I, I don't have really any opinion on this besides, I mean, it, it, but again, you know, if you're long within the last two weeks, I don't really like the hold. Because look at the exaggeration that this thing, ha it, it trades a high beta, or it, it appears uh, to trade a high beta relative to the market. I mean, look at the pullback during the pandemic pullback. And so if there's a pullback in the market, you know, purple could join right along with it, pulled back right with, I mean, it's just, it's pulled back with everything, every time. So I, I would just, I'm just, my plan is trim everything, trim all, trim it all down. Peloton, I've been watching Peloton. I really like Peloton 125 line, 125 and then 140. So 125, 140, that, that's a really nice range. I'm watching that every single day. So here to here, I'm, it's just, yeah, I'm all about, I'm all about, I, I, I love me some Peloton stock, not, not the bike, not the bike itself. Yeah, I agree. Probably more chop. Probably more chop. Any thoughts on Bitcoin? Oh my God. Now you're just trying to mess with me. You look into shorting DKNG if the loses the next support level? No. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore it. I have no interest in it. I If it's if it's not along, it's, I just don't care. I don't care about it because, you know, what, what's the, what's the, what's the point, you know, down here, what's the point of, what's the point of shorting this? I mean, the chances of it continuing back to 30, eh. I don't know. You know, that would be the type of range that I would want in that situation. But, you know, there, there's, yeah. Oren hasn't been the same since the Pelosi speech. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, so everybody was asking, what, uh, somebody else was asking this question. Where would my risk be if I'm longing the 4250 line? Well, my risk longing the 4250 line, guys, is pre-market lows. Like that, that's... Um, Pre-market lows is very, very clear right there. This was, I'm pretty sure this was the Goldman volume or not the Goldman volume, the Morgan Stanley volume, right? And Morgan Stanley printed that they were long from X number or some shit like that, 1.7 million shares or is that right? Did I remember that right? What was the news this morning? It was this morning. I swear it was this morning. Yeah. And DraftKings class A 1.7 million share block placed by Morgan Stanley at 42.15. So at 42.15 level that, I mean, that was, I, I always look for, for um, uh, pre-market lows. Uh, if I'm buying a dip into something like this and there's pre-market lows uh, to go, to go with that. Yeah. Sunday night ratings down 16%. That's because Cowboys played on Monday. <laughs> I mean, think about it. All the good games were on Monday, right? <laughs> Hey 
guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Yeah, I agree, Edson. I think, I think you know, You've been around. You've been around several elections, probably. I'm just kidding. You've been around some elections. I've been around the elections. I I, I don't like um, the the uh, the uncertainty. I just don't like the uncertainty. Jerry Jones sponsors me, <laughs> right? I wish that would be nice. Smoking a chicken. MJ signed a deal. Yeah, yeah. Not shares. He has a deal with him. Uh, iRobot also earnings. When's the conference call tomorrow? Tomorrow in pre market or something? Yeah, they have impressive partnerships because they everybody likes Davey, <laughs> everybody loves him. They're like, come on, anything related to him, and everybody's like, I love that guy. When is the conference call for iRobot? I don't see a conference call on here. So tomorrow at the close, tomorrow during pre-market. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? What is the thing? Oh, what were their earnings? Pretty good, right? Oh, here's a conference call. Earnings tomorrow during pre-market. Okay. 8.30 Eastern. All right. So 8.30 Eastern, um, iRobot conference call so pretty big gap down um but the thing to notice here is that i can't find any of my charts there we go thing to notice here is if i remember correctly they use a oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes. 40% short float, come to Papa. Oh, geez. Yes. I would, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I would love to see out of iRobot. I would love to see uh, this type of setup right here. Tank, right? Which is what we got. Okay, we got the tank. Here we go. Pre-market comes around and we just kind of start to base and we start to build this range like that. Here we go, range. And then at the open, we get the big bump and the pull and then grind. Like this type of stuff right here, this can really mess with a short seller's mind. I mean, I used to be this guy that I would watch things like this and be like, oh yes, I'm going to short this because the earnings were obviously terrible and the reaction is bad and da, 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 da. And then I would always forget, I'd always forget about granddaddy short float. So, uh, no, I'll be looking for longs on iRobot, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to be, I mean, I think, I think we can, I think we can kind of plot some levels here, to be honest with you, too. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got 8750. <laughs> end up smoked <laughs> yeah 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 did i say long yeah absolutely i said long it i would love to long it i would love it look at this 92.50 line 87.50 92.50 yeah those are those are nice nice levels 80 bucks 92.50 87.50 80 bucks so let's go in here 92.50 Let's say 8750. 80. Or did I say 90? What the fuck did I say? Damn it. 8750, 80. There we go. Oh. And then let's get this one all the way down here at 80. What do the pivot points look like tomorrow? Let's have a look at those. 92, 88, 63, ooh, 88, 63, S2, 87, 50, support on the daily chart. Mm, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, that's looking nice. Looking real nice. I get the feeling that Toby likes to short a lot. I think he's got this vengeance against bulls. Every time I mention something, he's he's bearish. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I need a robot now. Dude, think about it. Everybody just puts those in their homes, right? All right, guys. Y'all have a good evening. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.